AppRite just announced a game-changing feature as a part of the 1.6 release that's going to change the way you develop functions forever. And this is the addition of local function development. You heard that right. This means you can now build and test your functions locally without needing to deploy them before you can see their output. This addition is going to speed up the development process by reducing latency when we're making changes to our code and testing. It's going to reduce errors in a production environment, and it's also going to massively improve the developer experience. So before we dive into the new experience, let's take a look at how we would develop functions before this change. So in the old days, we would develop our function in a local environment within our text editor and once we made all our changes and added our code, we would need to deploy this function in order to see the output of it. So this process to deploy was relatively quick, but as our function grew, if we had more dependencies, this can take a little bit longer to deploy. Now, even if this does take only five to seven seconds to deploy, that's pretty quick. This process is still too long compared to how we're used to developing applications today. We have things like hot reloading. We can usually just refresh the browser and see the output right away. So this right here is a poor experience and factor in a bug. If you introduce a bug in this process, now you're having to update your code, redeploy, and that's just a bad development process. So we heard your feedback and we decided to fix this. So what we'll do next is jump to my computer and I wanna teach you how to set up your own environment so you can start building functions locally. If you've worked with AppRite functions in the past, you might already be aware of the fact that there's different ways to create and deploy functions. So you can use the automatic GitHub integration. You can also use the AppRite CLI. Well, in order to do what we're gonna do here, we need to make sure we're using the AppRite CLI. So I'm gonna show you how to install it. And if you do have it installed, I wanna make sure you're on the CLI version from the AppRite 1.6 release and up because from that point, there have been new commands added that we need to use. If you have an older version, it's simply not gonna work. So if you wanna install the AppRite CLI, go ahead and run npm install AppRite-CLI and that'll get it installed for you. So I already have this. And the next step in this process is to connect to a project. So I already have a project set up. I'm using AppRite Cloud here. And I'm gonna to connect to this project right here. So it's a blank project, it's called my app, and I'm gonna deploy the function at the end of this tutorial. So we'll run it locally, and then we wanna deploy it. So once you have the CLI installed, the next thing is to log in here. So we're gonna run AppRite login, and whether you're on the cloud version or you're on self-hosted, this is gonna prompt you to log in, and you can specify the URL endpoint if you need to modify that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select login, and I'm gonna pass in my credentials here. And that's gonna log me in here, so we'll take a second. And now I'm successfully logged in. So I'm logged in with this cloud account right here. So from this point, what I need to do is either create a new project or connect to one. So we'll run AppRite init project here. And I'm gonna go ahead and link to an existing project. So the one I just showed you, that is in my tutorials organization. And this one was called my app. So just make sure you have something set up and I don't want to pull all the resources from that project. So what this will do is it'll create the AppRite.json file here. And this is going to be all the project configuration. So if I open this up in VS Code, I didn't pull any resources here. I have another video where I'm going to teach how to work with this. But we don't really need to worry about this at this point. I'm just going to leave it open right here. So in order to actually create a function here, we're going to run AppRite init and we'll hit enter and we want to create a function. So in order to create a function, we're just going to select function and we'll hit create and we'll call this test func like this. And I'm going to allow it to automatically generate an ID for me. We'll hit enter and I'm going to use the node 18 runtime and we'll use the starter template. So what this just did right here, if we look at our appwrite.json file, this just created a function for us right here. So we have our function configuration settings and I can actually open this function up here. So it's on my desktop because I ran this command from my desktop. We see this right here in the functions folder. So let's open this up and this is under functions and this is the function right here. So let's just go ahead and clean it up so we can remove anything that uh, confuses us or just makes any noise. So let's get rid of all these comments. I'll even remove the app right client import right there. And let's get rid of this entire return statement and we want to get rid of this condition right here. So we're just returning hello world. And then we have our error and our log. So what I want to do now is actually run this function locally. So in order to actually run a function locally, you do need to make sure you have Docker installed. So if you don't have it, just go ahead and go to the Docker website, go through that installation process, depending on your machine, it'll guide you through that and then make sure you have Docker running. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up Docker here. I'm going to find it on my machine here. And I just want to make sure this is running. So it'll take a second. And here we go. And I can see that Docker is running right here. So I can pause it. I can restart it. And that's good to go. So once you have that set up, let's go ahead and actually run this function. So within our hints right here, we can actually see this command right here. We can run app write run function, and that's all we need to do to run it. So let's go ahead and clear that, and we'll do app write run function. And we can actually select the function that we need. So this is test func. We'll hit enter, and it's activating the function right here. It's spinning up a server, and this is going to be on port 3000. So here's our function, and this actually allows us to test it. So let's just go into our browser here, and I'm going to paste this into the URL, and here we see hello world. Now, in the normal lifecycle here of a function, we need to make some edits. So we can actually see these logs, first of all, right here within our terminal. We see hello logs, and then hello errors. Let's just modify this. So we'll just change this to uh, hello, it worked, and we'll change this to hello, it worked in that return statement. So we can save this. And now if I check my logs, I should see hello, it worked. Let's actually test by refreshing the browser here. So if I refresh it, here we go. We just made that change and that's a local function running. Now inside of my terminal here, we can see that and that's all there is to it. So make sure you have Docker installed, run the app write run function after you've created the function itself and that's it. Now, the last step in this process, once we've made our changes, let's say we've worked this function, let's go ahead and deploy it. Now, in order to actually deploy this function, let's go ahead and close this out here. So we'll just turn off the server by hitting control C and I wanna actually deploy it. And what I can do here is deploy everything within my appwrite.json file. So we'll open this up right here and I'll close this out and I'll minimize Docker just to get things out of the way. This is my appwrite.json file. So we have a command where we can run appwrite push, and this allows us to deploy everything in here, any changes that we made. So we have this function. Let's test this out. So we'll go in here and we'll run appwrite push like that. And we'll say that we want to push the function changes here. So it's going into the appwrite.json file. We want to push the test function. We'll hit enter, and this is pushing it. And right here, if I go into my project within my console, we have no functions. And once this finishes deploying right here, we're going to be able to actually see it and actually test a live URL. So it looks like it pushed one function. That's what we needed. And let's refresh it. And here we go. So here's our test function. I can go to this domain right here, check this out. So right now we're going to be blocked because we haven't authorized the user, but this is where we can actually change the settings and change who can actually execute this function. So that's all there is to it. So that's it for this video. I hope you're as excited as I am for local functions within AppRite. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave me feedback down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.